Good morning, my dear children. A very good day to all of you, and welcome to class seventh. I, Chitranshi Aunty, will teach you science and maths in this session. So, while you stay safe at your home, enjoy, spend time with the family. Let us start with studies also, because studies also must go on. So, let us begin. our first class of science of the session 2020 and 21 the first chapter of science is heat and its effect okay so in this chapter we will study the heat energy and the effects of heat so students let's start with this chapter okay so tell me when you rub your hands together mechanical energy get converted to heat energy and your hands will become warm we can experience it by rubbing our hands hmm they are warm right a when a fuel is burnt the chemical energy stored in the fuel is converted into heat energy right the heat energy of burning petrol is converted into a mechanical energy in a car the car will start moving hmm in an in an electric heater electrical energy is converted to heat energy hmm which keeps us warm in winter season in a power house heat energy of burning coal is converted into electrical energy hmm when a solid a liquid or a gas is heated up its molecule gains some energy and start moving faster the more we heat the substance the faster the molecule will moves heat energy is therefore the energy of movement of molecules in a particular substance whether it is a solid a liquid or a gaseous substance hmm the molecules in the solid or the liquid or the gaseous when they start moving up they create heat energy okay students now we will come to effects of heat okay for example we take a vessel and will fill it with water up to uh, up to the brim okay drop a few pieces of vegetable in it then start heating the vessel and observe the change that happens you will observe following changes number 1 the temp the water becomes warmer that is its temperature rises thus we can say that heat causes increase in temperature okay second as the heat as the water heats up some of it will overflows hmm that is volume increases thus heat causes expansion as the water boils steam comes out of the water therefore we can say that the water from liquid state is converting into vapor state so we can say that heat causes change of state hmm after the water has boiled for a few minutes the vegetable becomes soft and the taste will also changes that is the vegetable gets cooked so we can say that cooking of vegetable is a chemical change so heat causes chemical changes right if the water is is examined under a powerful microscope before and after boiling it is found that many bacteria that were earlier present in the water have died thus heat affects living organisms this is because every organism can tolerate a definite range of temperature its activity and survival gets affected at temperature higher or lower than the normal temperature so we can say that five effects of heat we can observe in this experiment what are uh, what are these uh, effects first of all heat causes rise in temperature heat causes expansion heat causes change of state heat causes chemical changes heat causes heat affects the living organisms okay now let's come to another topic of heat 
that is expansion for example we all will stand in a corner of our room okay um let a uh, few students in our class will stand in a corner of our room and then after some time i will play the music each and every one will start dancing on the music the children start dancing and moving around here and there okay and therefore naturally they will spread in the room hmm similarly when we heat a substance the movement of its molecule increases this increases the average distance between the molecule okay therefore the space occupied by the molecule that is the volume of the substance increases thick we say that heat causes expansion hmm for expansion we can say expansion happens in all the states hmm that is solid liquid and gaseous state okay so now uh, we will discuss further expansion in solids expansion in liquids and expansion in gases okay first of all we'll start with expansion in solids we know that the molecules of solids are closely packed with each other when will heat the uh, solid substance it will expand okay it will expand and we can uh, we can do these uh, experiments we can prove that there is expansion in solid by few experiments for example uh, we will take a rod lay it horizontally on two wood wooden support okay uh, for example we'll uh, take this spoon and we'll lay it horizontally on two wooden support okay we'll fix the spoon here from a wall and here we'll place a pencil or uh, any uh, anything which is round in shape we may, maybe we'll take a candle or a pen huh uh, now we will heat this substance this rod from the middle okay after some time you can observe that this uh, this metal rod which you have taken it will expand and the pencil will move a little bit this shows that there is a expansion in solid things okay similarly gases and liquid also expands we can do the further experiment in our next slide. so after watching this video please go through the worksheet which i am sending you all and solve the questions which i have given you in those worksheets okay students bye bye take care have a nice day